Okay, here's a quick tutorial of how to move your email to the new Office 365 server. Uh, you can see it all listed on this Word document. First thing you want to do is click Start, bottom left hand corner. Then you want to go to Control Panel, click on that. And these are all listed in alphabetical order. Look for Mail. It begins with an M, so I'm going to go through here. You click on Mail. And then whatever, if there's anything in here, you're going to go to, and let me actually, uh, let me put something there, just really just so I can delete it. Uh, but you want to go in here and you want to you want to remove anything that's in there. So you might have yours might say Outlook because that's the old uh, email stuff. And you want to yes, I want to remove that from the from that profile. So you remove any profiles that are there because uh, you want the Outlook to open the new stuff. After you remove it, click Add. Okay, and I'm I'm gonna name it 365. This name isn't important, but it's Office 365. That's the uh, that's where our email servers are now. And you're gonna put your information here. Sometimes this gets auto entered for you so that you might not have to type it out. So if it doesn't, great. I think the first time I did this, it didn't, I didn't have to type it out. Um, and then you make sure to type your password in twice. Be careful if you have cap locks or something on. It's gonna connect to the server, it's gonna check your password. And what this does is, unlike our old servers where you had to log into webmail, in other words, you couldn't just click the Outlook button because when you click the Outlook button, it wouldn't connect to the servers because we hosted our own uh, email at the time. Well, now we're hosting them through Office 365. So whenever you click the little Outlook button uh, in your you know, Start menu, it's going to connect just like you do at school. So as you can see, everything's set up right. Finish. And then if you go here and you click on Outlook, it loads up and everything's all right. Now, before you exit, go ahead and just in case, just go ahead and click Apply. So it applies all those changes, and it's always going to use that, you know, 365 profile. Uh, and click OK, and you can exit out of everything. If that was too fast for you, you can just rewatch the video, or again, just look, re reference this little Word document that I'll have posted in the links, and it guides you through it step by step. All right, thanks. The views and opinions expressed in this video are actually those of Mr. Venable and do not necessarily reflect those of the schools of Sacred Heart, the Grand Cateau, its board of directors, its administration, the network of Sacred Heart schools, or anyone else. Visit our website at shhkoto.org.